Praise Jesus. God bless you all our viewers. We are very sorry for the internet uh, interruption, but we thank God for we are able to be back online and we'll be sharing the message continuously as we have commenced before. All right. Now, what I'm talking about is all about the benefit of those who love God. And for the uh, sake of those of you who have not been online before with us, who haven't joined us from the beginning, our text message came from the book of First Corinthians chapter 2. Then I have read verse 9 of the chapter. But I'm going to read it again for you to be able to understand. Hallelujah. All right. It said, but as it is written, I has not seen nor heard, neither has entered into the heart of men the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Hallelujah. God love you. God love every one of us. Thank you, all of you that stay online. I want to appreciate my great daughter, Dr. Pastor Abel. <laughs> Thank you for stay online with us. Even though when it's cut, you still you still be able to connect. Thank you. God bless you, woman of God. And all of you that join us online, thank you. We appreciate you. All right. I'm talking about the benefits of those that love God. And I want you to understand that you are you are you are a favorite of God. God loves you. That is why Jesus Christ died for you and I. And you know. One of the ways to express our love, I mean, our appreciation to God, is to love God in return. According to that first chapter uh, 4, verse 8, the Bible says, we love him because he first loved us. So, it is a good thing when we love God. And if you remember, the Bible says, the greatest of all the commandments, this was said by our Lord Jesus Christ, that the greatest of all the commandments is love the Lord thy God with all your mind, with all your heart, with everything within you. Love God. Wow. Thank you, our beloved sister from, uh, from Macau. That's China area. Thank you. God bless you. May the Lord protect you always. Thank you for being part of this. We appreciate you, sister. And all others that I cannot even mention your name or your places. I just want to say I appreciate you all. So, we love God, we have to love God with our whole heart, with our whole being, with everything within us. That's what the Bible says, and that's the greatest commandment. Then after that, love your neighbor, all right? Okay, I'm talking about the benefit of those who love him. And I would like to quickly mention about two or three benefits for those who love God. Then, after that, I'll mention briefly, how do you love him? How do you, can you, what are the proof that you love him? But let me quickly talk about the benefit of those who love God. Those who love God, we have assurance of destiny secured by God. If you love God, God will always care for you. If you love God, God will always show back his love to you, his kindness towards you. It's a good thing to love God because it is the love of God that will make you have the ever-present fear of God in your life. No matter what you might be passing through, you might be saying, oh, with all what I'm passing through, I don't believe God loves me. I don't love any God. I only love myself. No. If you want to enjoy the favor of God, if you want to see the face of God shines towards you, you need to love him as well. When you love him, then you will enjoy the benefit of him. Another thing I would like you to understand is that if you love God, you have assurance of heavenly home. Because the kingdom of God where we are going is not for those who hate God. 
those who don't want to hear about Jesus, those who don't just believe in God. No. When you love God, then you have assurance of God's kingdom. You know that after this word, there is a place he has prepared for you because you love him. Because you love him. It's very, very important. And another thing I would like to tell you is that if you love God, there are blessings that you yourself cannot even imagine that God has prepared for you. According to that passage we read. He said, what the eyes have not seen, that is what you yourself haven't seen. What the people have never imagined about you. When you love him, it will secure your great assets of blessing in him. It doesn't matter how many days it may take before it will arrive to you. But the love of God will secure it. Because you love him. You remember in the book of Psalm, when you read the book of Psalm chapter 91. Psalm chapter 91. When you read verse 16, I mean 14 to 16. The Bible says something. The Bible says, Because he loved me, I will show him my salvation. I will rescue him in the day of trouble. And I will give him long life. He said, I will satisfy you with long life and peace because you love me. So one of the important benefits of the love of God, of those who love God, is that you cannot die young. He will satisfy you with good health. He will show you a kindness that when the people of the world are suffering, dying of any kind of sickness, God will secure you because you love him. He said, when you call him on the day of trouble, he will rescue you. He said, thousands may fall by your side. He said, but it will never come near to you because he has put his love in God. So when you love God, you get a lot of benefit in him. The love of God has a lot of benefit in this world and in the world we are going, in heaven where we are going. The Bible says there is a crown for those who love his appearance. There is a crown for those, not just for everybody, but for those who love him, who, who set their heart waiting, our God is coming. Jesus is coming soon. I must be with him. There is a crown for you. Sometimes the love of woman being may disappoint you. Sometimes you may be betrayed by somebody you love. But the love of God can never fail you. So it is most important to choose to love God and then love whomever next. That's why Jesus said, love God with all your heart. And the second one is, love your neighbor. So, what do, we mean, what do we mean by neighbor? That is, either your wife, your children, the people around you. But prioritize the love of God as number one. And now, let me quickly say this before we round up this message. How do you express the love of God? How do you prove to God that you love God? Anybody can say, I love God. Oh, I love God, Pastor. You need to understand. We all love God. Nobody who don't love God. But it is an expression that will prove the genuine love. It takes an expression to understand what is the real love. Now, what do I mean by that? Let me just tell you about two, three ways of how you can express your love towards God. Number one, when you love God, you will love to be closer to Him. I believe you got me right. If you love God, you won't be far to Him. 
Just imagine that you have a certain boyfriend or partner or husband or wife. If you love one another, one of the things that you will value so much is the presence of that person. You will like to see the person. You will not want to be too far to that person. The same thing with God. If you love God, you will value the presence of God. You will, be, you will love to be close, deeper and deeper to Him. But if you say you love God, you have been spending more than six months, you never even step in the entrance of the church. Most especially when they say, oh, there is a pandemic, there is lockdown, everybody no church. You are very excited. Yeah, hey, I won't go to church anymore. <laughs> then you don't love God. If you love God, you will always miss that presence of him. You will always feel that, oh, Sunday is very far. I really wish to be in his presence. I enjoy to be with him. That's the way to it. That's one of the expression of God's love. That's number one. Another thing I want to talk about. If you love God, one of the expression of love God is what came out of your mouth towards God. Your life will not just be about complaining, complaining, complaining against God. I don't just like what they are doing. I don't like our pastor. I don't like our church. I don't even understand this God they are talking about. Nothing is going on. Nothing is fine. That means you don't love God yet. The love of God is not yet establishing you. If the love of God establishing you, you will get to a certain state, even in the midst of trial. You will be saying, even if he's killing me, yet I love him. The Bible says, what will separate us from the love of God? Romans chapter 8, where you read verse 35 down. He said, is it a trial, challenge, the present situation or the situation after? If you love him, even your word expression, thank you, Jesus. Oh, I love you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I bless your name, Lord. Blessed be your name. Now, it's, it's an expression that you really love God. But if your word always is complaining, murmuring, you know, that means the love of God is still lacking in you. You may miss part of the benefit of those who love him. But if you will choose to appreciate him, to give him praise, to celebrate him, to speak of his goodness, then it means you have the love of God establishing you. Very, very important. Very, very important. And another thing I would like to mention quickly is those who love God, we express by giving. Giving is another way or another expression of love. Just imagine that when you love your son or daughter or your wife, you won't find it hard to give to such a person. You won't find it hard to give. Wonderful. God bless you, sister. Sister Hedlin. Oh, Fabulene. From Saudi Arabia. That's wonderful. God bless you, sister. As you are watching from Saudi, I pray for divine protection over you. And the Lord will bless you all over all the days of your life in the name of Jesus. Keep it up. Keep connect. We love you. Jesus love you. And every one of you, brethren, from different parts of the world that are watching this program with us, God bless you as well. One of the ways to express your love to God is giving. You won't find it hard to give when you love him. Because in your mind, it is said to the that I'm not giving to human being. I'm not doing it to human being. I just want to demonstrate my love to God. So nobody will force you before you do. Just imagine that you have a friend or partner, somebody you want to marry or you're already married. And then one week 
One month, they never give you anything. Will you still continue in that kind of love? I'm sure that many of you will say, no, this one is Corey Pot. I won't, I won't continue with this one. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm sure that nobody will be very excited and happy and celebrate a stinging husband or a stingy wife and say, wow, I love my husband because he's very stingy. No. Somehow, giving, we make the love to be higher and higher and higher. So we need to understand, when you love God, you give your life to him. Not just only in money. When you love God, you give your time to him. When you love God, you give your talent to him. When you love God, even your money, you give it happily. Nobody will force you before you do it. You hear that they are doing the work of God somewhere, they need to donate any amount. Even if you don't have the biggest to give, the little you have, you give it and say, I want to give this because I want to prove to God that I love him. And blessed are thou, if you can have this expression of God's love. And when you have it, it is assurance that you have a reward in this world and in heavenly home. That you have a reward in this world and in heavenly home. And above all, lastly, if you love God, you will be one of the soul winners. Those who love God, we love to have a soul for God's kingdom. If truly you love God, you won't just say, oh, praise God, I am saved. Only me, I'm saved and only me going to heaven. Never mind if anybody is going to perish. No. The place we are going, God has prepared a place, a mansion. He has prepared more than enough place for every one of us who will be willing and it is duty of you and I to be able to share the good news to others. As you are sharing the good news about Jesus Christ, that means you are demonstrating your love towards God. It is the love of God in you that makes you to go and spread the word of God. That's why Jesus said, if you love me, obey my word. And what is the word before Jesus moved out of this world? Only one important commission, task he gave to everybody. And that is, go and preach the gospel. That's the task. Either you are a bishop, you are a pastor, you are a prophet, apostle, member, any role you are, whichever position you are in the body of Christ, most important task given to all of us, go and win a soul. So if you love God, you have to obey that word. You have to follow it. Tell somebody else. Due to the situation around the world, you may not even be able to go and make stage a crusade or stand in a church to preach. But a message like this, you can pass it to any of your friends through inbox. That means you are spreading the gospel. As you are doing that, you are spreading the gospel. You can decide and say, I want to give to this ministry to support this work so that they can do more. That means you are spreading the gospel. We need to understand it. These are very, very important. Love God, there is a reward for you. You will get the reward in this world and you will get the reward in heaven. That is the word of God for us today. Thank you. God bless you for being part of this program today. And the Lord will reward you in the precious name of Jesus. In conclusion, don't forget, love of God is the gateway to enjoy the favor of God. Love him, love him. He's a good God, and you will enjoy his kindness in the land of the living. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Well, probably you may be view this one, you might be hearing this one, Maybe somehow you feel you have gone far from God. Somehow, maybe you have fallen into sin, you have forsaken the way of God, and it seems as if you cannot be forgiven. I have a good news for you. God is a good God, 
His love for you never change. It is not yet late. You can make a decision today. You can come back to Jesus today. You can surrender your life to him. You can just make that decision right now because you don't know when the trumpet will sound. It may be immediately after this message. It may be tomorrow. So I would like you not to postpone the salvation. This is the day. I just want you to pray this prayer with me wherever you are. And God's love will rescue you in the name of Jesus. Don't let anybody condemn you. Don't condemn yourself. Don't think that your sin is too much that God cannot forgive you. It's a merciful God. All you need, pray this prayer with me and welcome Jesus into your heart. Let us pray. Say with me, Jesus, thank you. Because you love me, you died to save me. Jesus, I believe you and I surrender my life to you. Now, come into my life. Forgive me all my sin. Jesus, you are my Lord and my Savior. Amen. Father in heaven, I give you all the glory for the life of all the precious viewers that have been viewed this program. Thank you for those brethren that have confessed this word of salvation right now. Lord, I declare by your mercy and your love, rescue your people, Lord. Forgive everyone. Write the name of everyone in the book of life. Make us all worthy of your heavenly kingdom. And Lord, I pray for all my viewers that even in this new week, let your kindness be upon everyone. Let your blessing be upon everyone. Let them enjoy the benefit of your love this week. Oh Lord, I pray whatever may be the problem of anyone view this program now, Jesus, intervene and do miracle. For the Bible say, you will stand by the word of your servant and bring it to pass. Lord, I command as your servant right now, healing in the life of everyone that need healing miracle. I command right now, Financial blessing in the life of everyone that needs financial miracle. I command right now, whomsoever that have one need or the other, whichever area that anyone might be crying and be sorrowful, I declare divine comfort. I declare divine intervention. I declare divine release of miracle. In the name of Jesus, this week you will have a good testimony. So shall it be. May the Lord protect you. May the face of the Lord shine towards you always. May he keep you in all your doing and all your way. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Blessed be the name of Jesus. God bless you, my viewers. God bless you, Pastor Joy. It's a great woman doing a very great work. I can see your comment. Thank you, all our brethren in the studio here. And thank you. All the brethren outside there, wherever you are, we love you. Jesus love you. Please don't forget to support this kind of ministry. We can do greater than this through your support. We can really do greater than this. We can reach millions of souls through your support. We used to pay money on the Facebook to make sure that we've spread the work to move far. You can be part of it. Just imagine that our message about Jesus is coming. We pay for it, and it reached many countries around the world. We have 40, 40, almost 47,000 views now. If you can support this kind of work and give us money for, your work, for, I mean, for the work of God, we can do more than that. We can pay. We can reach millions of people, and it will have a record for you in the kingdom of God, and the Lord will reward you. So please, don't just think that they don't need money. What do they need it for? We need it to spread the gospel. That is the heartbeat of God. And that is what matters to me and to my ministry. If you support through your life, a soul will be won and you will be blessed in return. May the Lord bless you. Have a blessed day. Thank you so much, our beloved Pastor Judith from Toledo City, Cebu. God bless you. We love all of you. Our sister from uh, Macau, we love you all. God bless you. May the Lord be with you. Have a nice day. Bye.